वेलकम टू आई टी सिम्प्लीफाई डू यू वॉन्ट टू प्रोटेक्ट योर मिशन क्रिटिकल एप्लीकेशन एंड डेटा फ्राम रेंस वे अटैक्स लेट मी शो यू इन टू डे सेशन हाउ यू कैन कम्बाइन एज योर इमेरेबल स्टोरेज विद वेरीटास बैकअप एग्जैक्ट टू अचीव दिस Like always if you're liking these sessions don't forget to like subscribe and share this content Now before I show you the configuration step let me just take a moment explaining why we are trying to achieve this Now this has two benefits number one as you know that organization they are moving their data to cloud storage because it's highly scalable but as an organization it's still our responsibility to make sure that data is protected Now B is integration with Azure Immutable Storage will protect your information, protect your data, in case there is somebody or bad actor is trying to get into and uh, create a ransomware kind of attack. It will keep your storage in a locked state. That's benefit number one. And then on top of that, you're utilizing cloud deduplication technology. So your storage is being utilized in an optimized state. So you're not going to just copy the empty blocks. So only the blocks which has been changed will be only copied to the Azure Immutable Storage. So saving on the overall cost on the storage, plus also reducing your bandwidth traffic. So it has twofold advantages. Now configuring this is a three-step process. In step number one, we are going to go to our BE server and create a local DDO volume. Then we're going to move to the Azure portal where we are going to create a storage account which has immutability enabled. And then we're going to bring both these two things together by utilizing MSTP cloud utility. So with that, let's go to the step number one and make sure that uh, in order to achieve this, you're on the latest version. So I just upgraded this to 22.1 in which this feature will be available. So if you want to test this, you got to be in the latest version. And actually you can see this under help and documentation. And if I can expand this, this is the functionality we're going to test, which is Azure object lock, which is creating a warm storage, write once, read many. So your storage will be in a locked state. So with that, let's start by going to the storage and I'm going to configure the storage. It's a disk based and deduplication. I'm going to use the drive on my server. And in order to create a D2 uh, device, you need to create a credential. Okay, so at this stage, I'm just going to ignore the encryption just for the sake of this video, but it's always a good idea to have the encryption. And I'm going to go to next, take all these default and click on the finish button. And it will just take a moment just to create this local data volume. And while this is getting created, let's go and go to the Azure portal to create the storage account. Now I'm logged in with this on this portal with my admin credential and let's go and search for storage account. Let's go and click on create and I'm going to deploy everything under the resource group with the name BERG and my deployment will be in central US. You got to make sure that the storage account name is unique. And my location, as I said, will be central US. For this demonstration, I'm going to keep the redundancy to locally redundant. And under advanced and networking, I'm going to take all the default. The only thing I'm going to change is under data protection. I'm going to enable immutability. Rest everything, I will take the default and review and create. Now, while this is getting created, let's see the status of our local data volume. All right. 
and it is asking me to restart the service to bring that volume online so I'm going to restart and while this is getting restarted our storage account is also created so I can go to resources and you can see right now under containers I don't have anything and we're going to create by utilizing MSTP utility uh, the things that will be needing from this portal are the will be in the security and networking you can see I have access keys will be needing the storage account name these keys and I'll be also needing the endpoint information so with that let's go back to our BE console and it's still restarting the service and while this is getting restarted what we can do is let me show you because in order to get to the MSTP cloud utility you need to give the path so if you have done the custom installation or typical installation like me for this backup exec let me show you where you can find that utility so it's going to be on your C drive under program files editors backup exec and if I can just search for MSTP, this is the utility I'm talking about. So let's grab the path here. I'm going to go to the properties and let me just copy this path from here. Perfect. Let me just close this and I'm going to open the command prompt and change the directory and go to this path perfect and let me just go to the cloud utility and these are some of the parameters that we have to provide so what i've done is i've opened this in a notepad so basic information like the region which is central us our mstp provided is azure the storage account name access key as well as the endpoint so let's change this And the storage account name in our case is Bharat SA. And the access key, you can get that from the portal. So this is the access key it is required. So I'm going to copy. And let's go and copy this and paste it here. And we need to provide the endpoint. And that also we can get from the Azure portal. So if I can go and scroll the left plate, you can see in the setting I have the endpoint. And this is asking this endpoint, the blob service. So I'm going to copy this and provide this information here. Now let's copy the entire these parameters and provide that in the utility perfect so I didn't got any error everything ran successfully I'm just going to uh, clear the screen and now we also need to now create a bucket basically a container as well as the volume name right so for that we're going to utilize this uh, this uh, again MSTP cloud utility and uh, let's change the name for the volume uh, actually is the container so as I showed you right now there is no container that we have sure. so at this stage let me give the name of the container I'm going to name this as Bharat container and I'm going to change this volume name to Bharat volume the mode is governance and this is for how long I want to uh, keep the storage in a locked state obviously you can always change it I'm just going to change this date also so today is 26 so I'm going to move this to so this is April we are talking about so I'm going to change this to say almost one month right so let's try to copy this and let's provide this information here 
and you can see the volume with the name Bharat volume was created successfully and we have the bucket which is the container that is also and we can actually cross check by going on to the Azure portal. So let's go and uh, see under data storage I have the container and here you go I have this container with the name Bharat container and inside this I have this volume and you can see I have the information now the access tier is hot and you can see the retention period, the one that we mentioned. So that's good. Now we also done the step two uh, and it was successful. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bring both these technologies together. So for that, I'm going to go to the BE console and my local D2 volume is also online. So I'm going to respond OK. And let's now create and configure the cloud storage. So this is basically the storage uh, that we just uh, created and the volume inside. And for the name here, I'm going to use the volume that was there, which is with the name Bharat volume, right? Not the container, the name of the volume, which is inside that container. And I'm going to enable deduplication to cloud storage. And you can see when I enable, the enable the encryption button is automatically selected. It's always a good idea to also encrypt that particular data. But again, for this demonstration, I'm just going to keep it simple and just enable the deduplication to cloud storage and let's go to next and i'm going to use my cloud storage device which is azure and for the cloud storage it is in azure region and for the login account we need to create it and it's nothing but username is my cloud storage uh, the one that we created the storage account name and the password are the access key so username is bharat sa and actually you can see from here so going back to my storage account and access key this is my storage account name and again the key this is the key I'm going to copy it All right, so if you want to give a brief note, you can also put here. Let's say, okay, so it's adding the login account. And this account we're going to use now to tie up. So let's go to next. This is a container, it is already automatically selected. Concrete operation, I'm going to leave that to the default and let's finish. I'm going to restart the service at this point. the cloud deduplication storage is in online state and with this we have successfully integrated azure immutable storage with backup exec